Resilience, patience, and courage. These three, three traits are well known to everyone and all are in, within us. They're everywhere in our lives and a large portion of the time it goes unnoticed. Only in life's extreme situations do they seem to shine through, which is great, but there are times when they go unnoticed day to day. We should recognize everyone who has demonstrated one of these traits and that should be everyone in here. Through my accident of losing my left leg, I experienced these traits. Let's start at the beginning. It was 2006, I was eight years old, and it was after school on Friday. I was crossing the street, and the next moment, I was hit by a Puget Sound Utilities truck. I have no memory of the event, but I'm told that I was conscious during most of it. I have a faint memory of seeing a police officer leaning over me and telling me that everything was gonna be okay. But that's about it, that's all I remember. I was kept asleep for three days as they did surgeries on me. I'm not sure if anyone blatantly told me that I lost my leg, but I must have made the realization eventually. I remember looking down at the cast and thinking maybe my foot was there. It was just like not doing so good. At some point over the next three weeks, I stayed in the hospital and was, vi was visited by many friends and relatives. Aunts and uncles stayed at my house to help cook food as well as make sure everything was in order. I always had someone with me every night to keep me company, which is definitely nice as I was only eight years old. There were some tough times in the hospital. The rules of not eating before surgeries, having skin grafts, or sitting in a bed for three weeks straight was tough, but you gotta push through it. After being allowed to go home, I was, I was given a wheelchair to maneuver around the house, but I could only use it for 15 minutes per hour so because of some condition, I don't know, really. After, <laughs> after gaining more strength, I was given, and no more time limit on sitting up, I was given a pair of crutches, which I used for five months. At first, it was really difficult to use them, but going to physical therapy, I learned to get the hang of them. After that, I was given a prosthetic, but walking didn't just come right away. Building the prosthetic took time, too. You had to get it molded, but it doesn't just end there. There are hundreds of adjustments that need to be made, making sure that like, only certain parts are being pressured, and making sure that the foot is at the proper angle for you, or just even putting it on correctly can be challenging sometimes. These fine detail problems took time to figure out. Learning to walk is probably one of the hardest things I've ever tried to do. Even today, I probably don't walk 100% correctly. There are times where I consciously think I'm not walking right, but I'm not sure how to fix it. However, even with all of that, here I am doing, most of, doing everything that I was able to do. This event showed me what we're capable of accomplishing. Resilience. Yes, all those challenges were tough. I'm not saying because I made it, you can make it, because I'm not even close to making it, just like everyone else. We, we all face challenges daily, just like myself. But, they put, but you can't let things knock you down. They may push you around, but you have to keep standing tall. Time and time again, I struggled to adjust to a life with a prosthetic. That is not as bad as it may seem. Now I'm back to living a normal life with it, and I can do everything. Patience. We all know this word, and that's excellent, because we all need it. Patience can help you see, solve your problems or help you see solutions. You cannot be rash in your life. Going through months of not walking, I didn't dwell each day on when I was going to be able to walk up again. I had to take each day at a time and focus on what was in front of me. Patience isn't easy. Of course, I was desperate and impatient at times to get out of the hospital. It was dreary and redundant. You'd wake up, take medicine, probably eat breakfast, lay in the bed, then you'd take more medicine, go to lunch, or eat lunch in bed, then sit more, maybe see some relatives or friends, more medicine, sleep, and then restart. Patience comes in different sizes and shapes, as you probably know. We don't have to wait for something for a couple months to be called patient. Even the small amounts of patience, like waiting for a friend, can have meaning. Especially in the world we live in where everything is so quick and we expect to be always stimulated, simple things like that and demonstrating patience can have a lot of meaning. Courage, what a great word. We use it everywhere and man, we need a lot of it in our lives. You cannot live your whole life scared. And yes, there are times when courage seems to slip away, with, away from us. Your knees buckle and your hands sweat. When I first got my prosthetic, it took weeks to be able to learn how to walk on it. The frustration of pain with every step, countless trips to my prosthetist with appointments that lasted up to a couple hours. At first, it didn't seem like I would ever be able to walk again, but I stuck it out. One, because I had to, but also because I wanted to walk again. I wanted to get back on my feet and run. Those were challenges to overcome. That's where courage comes in. You have to trust yourself, and you have to know yourself better than anyone else. You have to try. You can't go on being like, this is gonna be terrible, or you're gonna do badly on it. 
you have to go in being like, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to do so good on this. Life is going to have some bumps in the road, but you got to push through it. For some time, I thought seeing as my leg, losing my leg was a major flaw, but I've learned to live with it and even looked up by Mr. Muma's kid. I'm told when I walk past him, he says, hey, look, it's Iron Man. That's so cool. I, I never really saw myself as a role model, but to me, to this kid, I'm his hero. That's only because I never gave up. These traits can help push you forward, and while they're definitely not the only ones that exist, they are important. They show how we act as people and who we are. Don't let a mistake dictate who you are. Instead, learn from it and become something better. Thank you. Thank you.